Today we celebrate the Nativity of the Blessed Virgin Mother. Did you ever wonder why? Good. The reason is, what did we celebrate on December 8th? We celebrated her Immaculate Conception. Well, count nine months down the road. And where do you end up on September the 8th? Isn't that amazing? So the circumstances of Mary's infancy are not recorded in the Bible. There is something called the Proto-Evangelium of James. Proto-Evangelium is a fancy Latin word which means the first gospel. And it was probably put into written form in the second century and describes Mary's father Joachim as a member of the twelve tribes of Israel. He was grieved along with his wife because they had no child. So Joachim and Anne devoted themselves extensively to prayer and fasting that God may grant them this child. As it turned out, the couple were to be blessed even more abundantly than Abraham and Sarah, as an angel revealed to Anne when he appeared to her and prophesied that all generations would honor their future child. After Mary's birth, according to the same Proto-Evangelium of James, Anne made a sanctuary in the infant girl's room and allowed nothing common or unclean. Joachim brought the child to the priest, and they blessed her, saying, O God of our fathers, bless this child, and give her an everlasting name to be named in all generations. The Proto-Evangelium goes on to describe how Mary's parents, along with the temple priest, decided that she would be offered to God as a consecrated virgin for the rest of her life and enter a chaste marriage with the carpenter Joseph. St. Augustine described the birth of the Blessed Virgin Mary as an event of cosmic and historic significance and an appropriate prelude to the birth of Jesus Christ. She is the flower of the field from whom bloomed the precious lily of the valley, St. Augustine said. The fourth century bishop, whose theology profoundly shaped the Western Church's understanding of sin and human nature, affirmed that through her birth, the nature inherited from our first parents is changed. Isn't that amazing? So happy birthday to the Blessed Mother. She was conceived immaculately nine months earlier on December 8th. We call that feast the Immaculate Conception. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. December, January, February, March, April, May, June, July, August, September. The Nativity of the Blessed Virgin Mary. So happy birthday, Blessed Mother.